Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're talking about day 25 of switching from NVIDIA over to AMD. Now, obviously you guys aren't getting too bored of these videos and you guys are allowing me to milk it and I really appreciate that. I really do. Thank you guys. I, I If it wasn't for you and if it wasn't for these videos doing so well this month um, for the, for the, for the 7900 XT, I, dude, I would have never went and bought that, um, that LG TV. This 7900 XT has given me the, uh, let's, let's say it's given me the, um, uh, what's it called? The confidence to invest in that LG TV. Um, I was going to do a monitor, but it, 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 it gave me the confidence to go ahead and pick this 42 inch TV up. So that I could, um, so that I could play on on the the uh, 4K TV now with that. Um, a lot of people in the comment or uh, in in the community have been telling me to get an LG for a long time, and dude, I gotta thank you guys, man, because this TV is absolutely a premium experience from from the moment you turn it on. Everything I've played on it and played around with, it is absolutely incredible. Like I I, I am grateful that you guys kept telling me and telling me and telling me to get it. It is incredible. It is it is a premium product and it stands above above the rest in terms of just 100% feeling like a premium experience. Now I didn't buy it at launch, so I don't know if there was bugs or you know um, firmware updates or something along the line. But this is such um, this TV is it, it, it's absolutely incredible and <laughs> who man so. One of the things I want to talk about today in day 25 is the absolute freaking beautifulness of playing these games with HDR on this AMD card. Having the ability to adjust my color scale and everything else from that card and having a look as in freaking credible as it does on that on that on that new OLED. Ooh, so I uh, I picked up Resident Evil Two to, or Resident Evil Four today. You guys will be getting a video for that. It's, you you guys have probably already got the video for that. Um, I'm actually recording this well after making that video. Um, this graphics card's even given me the confidence to start recording my videos at 4K and uploading my videos at 4K for for this card now i now here's the new hierarchy i will still i will be doing 4k content i will be doing um 1440p content and until i can upgrade my camera you're gonna be stuck with the blurry little this this camera was supposed to be 4k it was supposed to be 4k it was supposed to do 60 frames a second all of that nonsense but for some reason i cannot figure out for the life of me how to get it to work and record it 4k like i just I, I i can't figure it out i i get into the logitech settings and i play with those and then i go into uh stream labs or screen recorder and all of them like pretty much cap me at 1080p so i don't know what it is i don't i, I i'm looking for another program right now like another recorder or, or a webcam recorder um thing so that i can actually record it 4k so you guys will just have to deal with that a little bit longer until I can actually figure out how to start recording these videos at 4K or just buy a, a DLSR camera so that I can just record in 4K and then transfer the data over to the PC after the fact. Um, <laughs> I've I've been taking this a lot more seriously. I've been taking this, this whole freaking YouTube journey and all of this stuff a lot more seriously. Um, I want to put out better content, you know, this whole year I've, I, I, I mean like that first couple of that first year and a half, it was, it was a little bit rough just trying to get my feet under me. Um, all this year though, I've been trying to do much better content and, and have a, and, and have it be, you know, better, but I am still doing daily content. I am still rapid firing off videos on the weekend. Like I, like I normally have been doing it's. It's one of those things where if I don't have something to like really like pique my interest and like pull me down for for the weekend, like I'm just going to I'll just keep making like a whole bunch of videos and stuff. And every time I get an idea, I'm like, "Ooh, that's a good idea. Let's make a video <laughs> or I'll read a comment from you guys. I'll be like, "Ooh, that's a good idea. But I know we're here to talk about the 7900 XT. What I'm saying is like this card is freaking awesome, man. If you're still rocking around with NVIDIA and, and like you're sick of their prices right now and you're sick of the games they're playing and and like having the uh 
having them feel like having like man i i don't even know how to express how i felt about buying that 3080 just to be dude i seriously thought that that card was going to be okay at 1440p with 10 gigs of vram like i did not i just i was i was maxing out the vram on resident evil 4 and no problem on this new card no problem no problem 1444 uh, 14.44 gigabytes for 4k no freaking problem playing that game running through there that looks incredible that looks absolutely incredible on that LG C2. Oh my goodness. The first video, this is the reason why it's taking a lot longer is the first video I recorded, um, I left the HDR on because it just looks so incredible. And I was going to make you guys suffer through that. But when I was watching playback, it was like absolutely dark. Like the Tomb Raider video. I was like, man, they're not even going to see this. It did start to get better toward the end, you know, because it gets light outside on, on that, on the game. But before that you couldn't absolutely see anything so i was like oh my gosh dude should i punish him with this to to get the clicks and i was like no i'm gonna just keep going from where i'm at and and make another video so it's a little bit shorter video it's about 20 something minutes but it is in 4k it is maxing everything out it is showing you like some 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 interesting you know sections in there that that i think might be surprising to you um it, it is definitely going to have some some spoilers obviously if you haven't played the game but my gosh man the, the i i've been playing mostly now on a 1440p monitor for a little over two years sorry that light's going on its way out i gotta change the bulb this um i've been playing on this 1440p monitor now for 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 almost two years i bought it for the series s like i literally bought a 1440p monitor so i could have it for the series s and then <laughs> i bought the pc and i plugged it into the monitor and i was like oh my gosh this is actually pretty interesting so i've been playing on this monitor now for for almost two years and my my tv so my my, my other tv so big and like having it over here and like having it hooked to the pc and all of that stuff on the sim racing equipment and um, like when I first started out, obviously my 3060 Ti I wasn't going to really push the TV. I tried multiple games at 4k and I, I just came in back, keep, kept, kept, kept coming back to the same thing that, yeah, the sim racing games look incredible on it, but everything else is like hit or miss. Um, so, so I just, I was starting to lose faith in 4k. Thankfully this LG G C2 has restored my faith along with the 7,900 XT and, and, and it's just like those two right there are starting to make the, the experience even better. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, am I starting to fall back in love with 4K again? Oh, heaven help us if I do, man. Heaven help us. Heaven help us, man. I'm FOMO froggy and I'll keep buying stupid stuff because that's what I do. Um, no, I'm, I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to, to calm myself down and, and not really, it, it's like, I get these ideas like, man, I want to try this. And, and it's not. It's not anything bad guys like it's it's really not anything bad it's like i get this idea like i'm I, I was i was mad you know there was there was a lot of factors with the whole switching from nvidia over to amd those stupid new plugs catching 4090s on fire i, I was like man i don't even want to deal with that i don't even want to deal with that right now the 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 needing three eight pin uh, needing three eight eight uh, three eight pin power supply plugs for that 30 40 80 i was like man my 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 pc only has two in there right now and i wasn't planning on upgrading uh, <laughs> the, the the fact that i just bought that 3080 and it just wasn't like it, it wasn't holding up it wasn't doing good and then when the 4080 came out and it only had 16 gigs of vram i was like man this this is this is a joke this is an absolute freaking joke i want to be able to play <clears throat> these games at 4k blah 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 so, I mean, there, there was just, it was starting to pile up on the NVIDIA side and the price of the freaking card. That's all right. Here's here's the thing, man. Like the $1,200 thing or the $1,500, $1,600 for the graphics card. That's never really been the problem. I mean, obviously I spent that much on a freaking sim racing setup in a, in a, in a PSVR too. Um, it's never been a question about the money for that. It's a question. It's more of a thing like this. Here's always kind of been my ethos and my, and my, and my thing. It's like, is this company respecting my investment in their ecosystem? After spending almost $7,000 buying NVIDIA products, 
you know, at the lower end and, and just kind of seeing the, the, how the, how they, uh, how they kneecap you at every freaking turn as you're working your way up the, the NVIDIA, the NVIDIA stack, that kind of, that kind of gave me this thing, this, this idea of like, dude, I don't think NVIDIA respects my investment in that ecosystem. I don't think they respect me as a customer enough to sell me a product that's going to have some sort of longevity to it. I, I don't feel like they respect my my investment. I feel like they want me to be, and that's why I refer to the NVIDIA thing as a hamster wheel, because I feel like they, I feel like they want you on the hamster wheel. And, and like the fact that DLSS three frame generation is not compatible with 30 series cards at the bare minimum. And it can run on a, and it can run on a 4060, but it can't run on a 3080 or any of them other cards that have wider memory bus. And, and just the, the, to my, in, in my opinion are built better. You're trying to tell me it, it's little things like that, that made me feel like Nvidia does not respect my purchase in their ecosystem. The vibe that I'm getting from AMD right now. And I'll be, I'll, I'll be honest, you know, I, I feel like I feel like they oversell their products a little bit. Like I do. I feel like they overhype, you know, you know, they're like, oh yeah, 61 teraflops and 51 teraflops and 1.7, blah, 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 blah. All of that nonsense that, that just looks good on paper. And then they show you all the games that, that are obviously cherry picked for that card. Well, you see, I don't cherry pick on this channel, guys. I'm going through the list of all the newer games that I was struggling with to play on that freaking 3080. And I'm and I'm not running you old games, man. Like I'm not gonna sit here and run you old games this weekend. I've just bought Resident Evil 4. We're doing Remnant 2. We got Ratchet and Clank. We've got Last of Us Part One. You know the some of the newer ones on there. Um, we will. I mean, we did check out like uh, Gotham Knights, Hogwarts Legacy. You know, Far Cry Six. Some some of that other stuff that's like that's that's newer, man. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go dig up CS:GO to show you a. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna go dig up like these old games. And run them at like observantly high frame rates, just so you can be like, "Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful!" And then get your card and be like, "Oh man, Resident Evil 4 only runs at 55 frames a second." I'm not gonna do that to you guys. I want you to see a consistency over the newer games, and and I want you to see how these newer games are running because that's what matters the most. I don't care about games that are too old or two years old. Like I don't care. I don't care what Cyberpunk runs like. That that's that's that game's old enough now to where it should run good on new hardware. Like it should have no problems. You you shouldn't have to worry about how Cyberpunk is going to run. Like old games are a bonus to like, hey man, this is an absolutely incredible experience. You know that those should always start running better as you as you get new hardware. But when it comes to like your your newer games that are starting to come out, like while your new card is there, like the 7900 XT, that's the experiences that I want to show you in these benchmarks. And I want to do actual freaking some gameplay sessions for you guys. Like I've been really considering doing like hour long play sessions and then uploading those. But I'm, I mean, I'm uploading them at 4k and, and like, I, I want to see some good viewership out of these videos before, before I invest that much time and effort into into creating these experiences because i gotta i gotta i gotta communicate for an hour i gotta i gotta be able to look at things and and play the game and all that kind of stuff so i want to be able to find a, a perfect medium to where you're going to watch the content and and it's and it's going to be meaningful for both of us i don't want to just put out nonsense content all the time like i i i normally do just put out content that i want to put out but when this is like trying to show off a product I want you to be able to get the best information that you can because I might not be knowing, I, I might not know exactly what you want to see. So I want to be able to give you the best information that you can glean from possible. Like I, I want to be able to do that. Like, I mean, all these synthetic benchmarks and all these benchmarks where they show in just a certain thing, that's not representative of the whole game. Like there could be places in the game that are not going to run as well as that. So I want to be able to get some good, some good lengthy footage so that you can watch and see how that card is going to see how that card is going to uh um see how that card is going to um work out for you um hold on a minute i gotta
Hold on, I gotta tell my mom I'm recording. And so I, I want you to be able to be able to glean the best information that you can out of the content that I put out for you. And I want to be able to talk to you as I'm doing that. So if you, if you, if you want more content like that, please let me know in the content in the comment sections. When you guys watch those videos, give me some, give me some suggestions, stuff you guys want to see, help me make this content better for you so that it can, so that you can, <clears throat> so that you can enjoy it and be able to get the best experience out of it. Because like with this PC stuff, I am pretty much flying blind. I just put out content and I'm like, yeah, whatever, if it gets views, whatever. Um, but I want to make content that people actually want to watch. But I mean, I'm also at a point right now where I'm, 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 I'm also at a point right now where I'm fair. I'm, I'm pretty new to like PC gaming and what it has to offer. And I'm, I'm still trying to I'm still trying to learn some myself. So all the pointers and all the feedback and all the information that you guys give me, I definitely read that. I definitely look into it. I, I sit here and I try to figure some stuff out as well. So, um, day 25, man, of having this, this graphics card has been absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I have more confidence now in what I am, what I'm creating. I have more confidence now in what I am what what I'm trying to do, I feel like um, <clears throat> I feel like this experience has been a far greater learning experience than I ever did on the Nvidia. Like on Nvidia, I just had this like in my mind that I was just like, yeah, man, I'm just gonna turn this all the way up, and I'm gonna flick on DLSS, and everything's gonna be great. And it wasn't it wasn't the case. It wasn't the case on any of the cards I bought. Like yeah, they would work, but I was always trying to punch way above the weight of that card. So my experience wasn't good. If I would have just um, 100% ran that that 3080 at like 1080p max settings, that'd have been awesome. You know, if I would have ran it, yeah. I mean, 1080p. That's pretty much what that card is going to end up is a is a really strong 1080p card. And there's nothing you can do about that. That 10 gigs of VRAM has pretty much sentenced that card to 1080p going forward with newer games, and that sucks, man. That absolutely sucks. I mean, you can, you obviously, you can play it at 1440p. You can play games at 4K. Uh, I, obviously, obviously. But, I mean, if you want the absolute most bang for your buck with ray tracing and all of that stuff, it's a 1080p card. Easy. 100%. That is a 1080p card. 1440p at best. At best. Out of that card going forward, man. Like with some of these newer games... I think it I think it should be able to run pretty much anything about 1080p going forward. I think I think that'd be a fair assessment for that card and I bet you'd be able to get some longevity out of that. <clears throat> and 1080p doesn't really look terrible on a 1440p monitor either. It actually looks extremely good. So um going forward, you know, you should be able to get a pretty decent experience out of that 3080 card, but man, the VRAM allocations of these cards is just Sometimes it's just unacceptable, man. And and that's just the way it is. 10 gigabytes was probably like, you know, they were trying to cut you and save some money so that they could put out a 12 gig card just so that it could be a 1440p card. Oh my gosh. NVIDIA, NVIDIA, look what you made me do, man. Look where I'm at now. I'm over on the AMD side and this is awesome, man. More people are going to switch to AMD and they're going to realize just how awesome this is. Playing Resident Evil with max settings with ray tracing enabled and it worked and I was getting almost a hundred frames a second at 4k. I was like, okay, this is cool. This is absolutely cool. So, all right, my friends, thank you for watching. Remember if this video does over a thousand views in 24 hours, I will make another one just so that you guys can continue to listen to me. If you try to, it's kind of interesting because I have to figure out something to talk about every single day. If you guys watch, if if you guys get these over to a thousand views and it's like, oh my gosh, dude, what more can I find to say? I'm like, this experience is good, but like, okay. So, all right, man, if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.